South Sudanese President Salfa Kiir takes a tour in the streets of the capital, Juba. This following rumors that the 65-year-old leader has died. The rumors, which were doing rounds on Twitter, even spread as far as Uganda, where Kiir was reported to have fled for medical treatment. I think seeing is a believing. And for you to see me when I was said to have been died, is a believing that they know I'm alive. Of course, nobody can come to the to the media to deny his or her own death. But this is what you have now subjected subjected me to. Uh, I am alive and well. The wild rumors come amid warnings of increasing violence across the country. The United Nations mission in South Sudan expressed concern over increased reports of violence and armed conflict in various parts of the country. In the town of Lier in the north, UNMISS reported heavy artillery and gunfire exchanges between forces loyal to Kiir and Mashar. President Kiir has since called for calm in the world's youngest nation. I warn everybody to remain calm. As for the parents and the relatives of the victims who lost their lives, in these tragic incidents, I want to calm them down by telling them that let them remain calm. And nobody should take the law into his or her own hand. South Sudan, which gained independence in July 2011, descended into war just two and a half years later when Kiir accused his former deputy, Riek Machar, of plotting a coup. Numerous attempts to shore up a fragile truce failed, and in a major setback to peace efforts, fierce clashes erupted in Juba on the 8th of July. The July clashes pushed the number of refugees from the war-scarred nation past the one million mark. Bureau Report, ANN7.